And now, from San Francisco, the beautiful city by the Golden Gate, it's time for the Tennessee Ernie Ford Show, happily brought your way this Monday by Choose, fast relief of distress due to acid indigestion, and Neolite, Souls and Heels by Goodyear. And now here he is, the OP picker himself, Tennessee Ernie Ford. Yeah. Oh, how clever. I want to be around to pick up the pieces when somebody breaks your heart. Somebody twice as smart as I. A somebody who will swear to be true like you used to do with me who'll leave you to learn that misery loves company wait and see i want to be around to see how he does it when he breaks your heart to bits Let's see how the puzzle fits so fine. And that's when I'll discover that revenge is sweet. As I sit there applauding from a front row seat. When somebody breaks your heart like you. woman's busy life today, her daily aggravations, her hurry-up meals, can cause heartburn distress due to acid indigestion. The answer, chews. More women than ever now chew chews for quick relief because this wonderful antacid in chewing gum form relieves heartburn fast and thoroughly in a way no solid antacid tablet possibly can. This was proven by the famous chews x-ray test with a woman as the subject. X-ray motion pictures of the heartburn area were taken. Based on these X-ray movies, we made drawings for television. See how solid tablets, even in fragments, skip right on through? Now see how Chew's medications become a continual flow of relief because it's in chewing gum form. That's why Chew's really puts out the fire of heartburn. Next time your busy life brings on heartburn, put out the fire with Chew's, the perfect antacid for heartburn. Happy Monday to you. It is 16th of March already. I don't know where it's gone. And welcome to a very fine studio audience today. We're glad you're with us. I have always had a secret desire to be an FBI agent. It's one job where the work is exciting, the pay is good, but best of all, the customer is always wrong. What's more, I think I'd make a pretty good agent. For instance, I know something even the FBI doesn't know. Where their wives are today. <laughs> They're here today in our studio audience. Take a shot of the audience there, Mr. Director. Look at yourselves. Give yourselves a hand. You're all beautiful. You're great. You bet. And the rest of you, you know, you're welcome too. Uh, we didn't mean to ignore you. Uh, but, uh, uh, but we uh, welcome today the wives of the agents of the Federal Bureau of Investigation in the Bay Area. That is the ones that are in the Bay Area, which is from Marin and Santa Rosa down to San Jose and here in San Francisco. Sitting next to me are uh, two ladies. Uh, I understand, is this a club? Uh, or so to speak, I mean? Well, the FBI Wives Association. FBI Wives FBI Association. You are Mrs. Uh, Rudrow. Mm -hmm. And Mrs. Andrus, Andrus, mm -hmm. that's right. Uh, Audrey and uh, K. 
Carolyn. May I call you your first name? Wow. Well, you are spokesmen, spokesladies or something uh, for, the, for the group. Well, we're very glad that you came uh, down today. And coincidental, just a few um, days ago, I had a occasion to go down to the Federal Bureau of Investigation Office and they asked for some help and they gave it to me and turned me loose, just like that. <laughs> didn't, didn't keep me at all. And uh, you know every day on this show, um, what is this? Oh, I'm going to put this on you. What is it? It's your Papa P. Picker. No? Papa P. Picker! <laughs> oh, we got to have a close-up of that, Mr. Director. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, I tell you, I shall wear that. I shall wear that proudly. Have and you ever been stuck in a teapot before? No, not, not by a nicer person in my whole life. <laughs> you do it so gently, too. I, uh, you know, we have a habit here, a, a habit, it's a regular thing on our show, that we make a telephone call to somebody somewhere. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of fun with it. And which one of you is from Birmingham? Indiana. Carolina. I mean, Indianapolis. Yeah, I am. You're from Indianapolis? Indianapolis, Indiana. What do you think? Is your mother still there? Yes. Let's I call her. So. Let's she call. visited your show on the 16th of uh, December with me. She was here on the 16th? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's give her a call. If she doesn't recognize your voice, I'll never forgive her. Oh, come on, let's give her a call. <laughs> Where are you from, Rizik? Are you from native California. Cal native native Californian, really? Uh -huh. Where about? The, this area? Maybe? No, down in Madera, California. In Madera? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, the valley there. Uh -huh. Great. Oh, well, I married a native Californian. Oh, I know What you is did. the area code in Indiana? 317. 317. How many of your FBI wives are here today? 118. 118. 317. Now, what's the number? Fleetwood, FL. FL. Well, F. Uh, F. A, B, C, D, E, yeah, F. F. L. 7. 7. O, 2. O, 2. 8, 3. 8. 3. What's her name? Mrs. Poor. Mrs. Poor. 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 C O U R. C O U R. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Poor. What's her first name? Clara. Clara. <laughs> well. mm -hmm. Not very happy about that. Oh, she don't like Clara? Not very happy. Really? That's a pretty name. Clara. My monitor's not working. Thank you, sir. Oh, I hope so. Ring Hello. Hello, Clara. Yeah. How are you? Okay. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> Is everything all right there? Sleepy right now. Hmm? I've just been lying down. I say I'm kind of sleepy right now. You're sleepy? Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to wake you up. Where are you? I'm in San Francisco. Oh. Mm hmm. <laughs> I am. Who's talking? Well, just a minute. Somebody wants to talk to you. Hold on. All right. Hi, Mom. Hold on. Well, don't you know who you were talking to? No. Did Lee? No. Yeah, it's Lee. <laughs> No, it was Ernie Ford. Oh, for heaven's sake. Oh, the party's gone. Yes. <laughs> the party's gone. Oh, dear. The party from the party? This is a... Don't no. even me. Yeah. So if you want to talk to her. Right. Say, I'm flabbergasted. You are? Yes. Well, we, the uh, the wives of the agents are here at the show today, and uh, and uh, Audrey, uh, the Carolyn is and also Audrey. And we... Right, aren't you? Oh, you have been otherwise. You have been... You gonna I come? love you. Well, you're sweet. Well, I just was there for Christmas. Well... Who was there at your show? I, I know. Uh, uh, um, Carolyn just told me. Uh-huh. Oh, well, you're a dear. Oh, well, now, so are you. <laughs> and uh, when are you going to come back? Oh, maybe another year. Another year? Well, make it a little sooner. No, I can't. It costs too much money to come way out there. Oh, I don't think so. That's, uh, you can call, uh, walk. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Did oh, I send you... Oh, dear. Good I didn't... Night. I didn't send you a copy of my book yet, did I? No. I'll, I'd like to send you one. Would you oh, like that'd be that fine. Okay, I fine. Appreciate it. And Carolyn looks great. She's very pretty. She's got oh, a red she suit today. Here. Little fur collar. She looks marvelous. She's really a whiz bang, that girl. Yeah. <laughs> How many did you finally have at the party? Well, we've got uh, the FBI wives. We've got 118, I think. And then oh, for heaven's sake! Yeah, well, and then the first there's she had 112. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's what happens, you know, as time goes by. And Shows how all the girls love you. Well, you're, <laughs> you're a beautiful bunch, and the rest of them here, too. Yeah, and man, I wondered if there would be room for anybody else. Oh, yeah, we got plenty of room. Come back there, Anita, you're going to sing. Come back there. Thank you very much for no. talking to us, all right? Calling me. 
Oh, well, listen, it was a joy. Here, say goodbye to Carolyn. Bye, Mom. Well, gee, this call's taking kind of a lot of time, isn't it? Well, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye, Karen. Bye. Oh, she's wonderful. That's great. And thank you again. Oh? I have it? No, I want to have a few words with you. All right, fine. We have a little surprise for you. We hope it is a surprise. Well, surprises are coming in the head over heels here. What's, what's happening? Well, we know how generous you are in giving away your book. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the name of it? Now? This is my story. This, this is, is my story. story. This is my song. Right. So we thought it would be appropriate. Maybe you would appreciate a book that has been written by the head of the FBI, J. Edgar Hoover. Oh, yes. His Masters of Deceit. Oh, thank you so very much. And I want you to know that is personally hey, autographed personally by autographed Mr. Uh, Hoover himself. That is not a stamp, one of those little rubber jiggers that they use. Okay. <laughs> that well, is that's wonderful. Signature. Mr. Thank you, Audrey, very much. Yes. Thank you, mm -hmm. and thank both of you, and thank you for bringing this very attractive bunch of ladies down here today. Now, you be sure and read it. I certainly will. <laughs> thank you, and to Mr. J. Edgar Hoover, thank you, too. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Now, Goodyear presents the world's toughest shoe-testing machine. It really tests shoe soles as no other machine can. On the left foot, we place a shoe with an ordinary sole. On the right, a shoe with a neolite sole. Now, we turn this machine loose for months of playground punishment, the worst kind of wear a shoe can get. Look at this ordinary sole, worn right through. Now, look at the neolite sole. Still good for months more of playground punishment. And if Neolite can take that, it's certainly a better sole on shoes for fathers, mothers, teenagers. So whenever your family buys new shoes, get Neolite. It's lightweight, flexible, damp-proof. And it outwears ordinary soles two to one. Neolite by Goodyear. These Tom McCann shoes for boys must fit correctly five different ways. Now that's typical of the extra value of fine in children's shoes with Neolite soles at Tom McCann stores. And now don't go away, cause we'll be right back with part two of our show, so cool and jack. But first it's certain that the time's gone nigh for Jim Lang to tell you that it's brought to you by... Lysol, best way to destroy household germs, Eureka vacuum cleaners, shampooers and polishers, and Rolaids in handy roll, a new family size bottle. And now once again, here's the old pea picker. Thank you. as 
they see So dream At the touch of your fingertip, you can help protect your home from household germs that often cause illness. Keep it outdoor fresh all winter long, the pleasant way, with new Lysol spray disinfectant. Eliminates germs and the odors they cause even in spotless homes. In the shower, for example, new Lysol destroys fungus that causes athlete's foot. Spray Lysol wherever germs and odors persist. Bathroom floor. Empty laundry hamper. Lysol spray is safe as your detergent. Helps protect against germs in baby's crib. Freshens diaper pails. Spray Lysol in the garbage can to control odor. Pet areas. Spray Lysol in closets, basements, to eliminate closed-in odors, mold, and mildew. In laboratory tests, Lysol action lasted seven days. Lysol spray refreshes the air with a new, clean scent. Get Lysol spray, the fast, easy, effective way to destroy household germs odors instantly. Now while the extent of my participation in water sports is limited to fishing and fishing a golf ball from a pond, <laughs> I'm a sensational spectator. And one thing I particularly like to watch is surfing. It's very popular of course in Hawaii and now the youngsters are going for it on both the east and west coast. The trouble with surfing though, aside from the songs they've been writing about it, <laughs> is that if you live inland in mid-America, you couldn't take part. Well, all of that has been changed now with the discovery by a fellow named Dick Pope in Cypress Gardens, Florida. Now, this is something. He has come up with something called boat surfing, which makes it possible for you to risk your neck on a surfboard anywhere you have water and a motorboat. Now, it's coming up. On, on the likely chance that you've never been boat surfing, we thought we'd show you some filmed examples of how it's done. Now, let's roll the film. This is really fun. This is something. That man's name is Hobie Alter. He's Hobie Alter, and he, he's off Long Beach there. Now, he's on a surfboard holding a rope. Now, you watch, and the boat's going about 10 miles an hour. Picking up speed there now. Oop. Now he stands on the board. Now as the boat picks up speed, you know what a boat wake is, the wake of the boat. He turns loose of the rope there. There he goes. Now he's surfing freely just on the wave of the wake of the boat. He's going from one side to the other, isn't he? Yeah. Looks so easy. <laughs> so this is an opportunity for people who want to surf and live near a lake. That must be, a, must be a powerful motor. Wipeout! Wipeout! That's what my boy said that is. It's a wipeout. When there. they fall down. Yeah. Huh? Look now at they, the wake, though. And that must is be this a, down in Cypress Gardens, Florida, I uh, think? Off Long Beach, Ernie. Oh, this still off Long Beach? Yeah. Now, you can travel along in the wake of the boat until either it runs out of gas or you do. So it's, uh, <laughs> Look, doesn't it look easy, though? I mean, uh, if you know what you're doing... Uh, and with experience, you... But I think that would be a tremendous way to learn to surf. Must be a big boat. Because I've watched him surf over at Makaha, you know, in Hawaii, and those waves are, ooh, you know, big ones. Whoa. And, you know, I mean, if, if you know what you're doing... Uh, and with experience, you... But I think that would be a tremendous way to learn to surf. Must be a big boat. Because I've watched him surf over at Makaha, you know, in Hawaii, and those waves are, ooh, you know, big ones. Whoa. There, he crosses the wake. Now this is at, this is Cypress Gardens. Now. This is down at Cypress Gardens, and uh, two can do this as easily as she one. She certainly is. Isn't she? Yes, she is. There she is, and she certainly is. <laughs> I don't care if she can surf at all. She's beautiful. Well, uh, that's riding a wave in the wake of a boat on a surfboard. So that isn't riding a wave. <laughs> what great for the people in the lake area? I think that would be a good way to. Lake area. You know, I really think that would be a good way to learn to surf. Yes. Uh, without, you know, big waves and, you know, something. But uh, it's uh, interesting. That's great for the people in Minnesota, my home yeah. state. Us old people might learn so many. You know yeah, that? but, uh, you know, getting up would be just as hard as water skiing, and that's pretty strenuous. 
No, I don't think getting up to the... Uh, I've been up on an aqua plane, and I don't think it's any harder than that. I'd like to try it. Love All right, I'll drive the boat. We you need try. a big okay. boat. You want to see how handy a really powerful cleaner can be? Nick over here. Get what this is. This is the new Eureka Whisk with the same power you get in Eureka's full-size lightweight uh, cleaner. Right there. The whisk is powerful enough to clean big upholstered pieces. See how the nozzle is specially shaped for furniture. Use it in the car. too powerful enough to pick up the heavy dirt that's tracked in. And yes, this is the new Eureka Whisk with the same power you get in Eureka's full-size lightweight uh, cleaner. Right there. The whisk is powerful enough to clean big upholstered pieces. See how the nozzle is specially shaped for furniture. Use it in the car, too. It's powerful enough to pick up the heavy dirt that's tracked in. And yet it costs $19.95. And here's another surprise. For just $6.95 more, you add Eureka's unit kit of accessories and make your hand back even more useful. Now you can reach behind radiators, clean cornices, and drapes, and there's power enough to vacuum stairs or sweep the dust, and uh, sweep and dust the floors too. When you buy a hand vac, be sure you're getting the power you need. And the simplest way to make sure is to ask for this one, the new Eureka Whisk. All right. That's the one. Billy Strange is going to sing. <laughs> for acid indigestion. Millions of people use Rolaids. Why are Rolaids so good? 
Rolaids consumes 47 times its weight in excess stomach acid. The following demonstration shows how important this is to you. When you have acid indigestion, your stomach drip, drip, drips excess acid. Causes heartburn, gas, that burning sensation. Rolaids, however, contains an exclusive buffering compound. Watch how it works. Rolaids protects your stomach with thousands of absorbent particles. Each particle consumes 47 times its weight in excess stomach acid. Result? Rolaids controls the steady drip, drip, drip of acid. Gives relief that lasts for hours. So when excess acid causes painful indigestion, take Rolaids. Remember, Rolaids consumes 47 times its weight in excess stomach acid. Rolaids tastes like a mint, works like a miracle. Do you ever get the feeling that everything is moving too fast? Well, here's some advice that may help to restore your perspective. It's called Take Time. Take time to think, it is the source of power. Take time to play, it is the secret of perpetual youth. Take time to read, it is the fountain of wisdom. Take time to be friendly, it is the road to happiness. Take time to laugh, it is the music of the soul. Take time to give, it is too short a day to be selfish. Take time to work, it is the price of success. Take time to love and be loved. It is a God-given privilege. Take time to pray. It is the greatest power on earth. I am a poor wayfaring stranger Traveling through this wearisome land There is no sickness no toil, no danger In that fair land To which I go I'm going back To see my mother I'm going back No more to roam I'm a go Thank you very much. We'll see you tomorrow. Stay well and keep happy. Bye bye. And bless your little pea picking heart. Bye. See you tomorrow. What was America like? You know, back when? Go to American Life Film Stock and find out.